I have to ask you, at the moment, Britain's Got Talent's massive. If you were to go on Britain's Got Talent, each of you, what, what would you do? What kind of talent would you show off? Um, Secret oh God, talent. I, to, I did actually, I did actually, uh, <laughs> I had, had an audition for, <laughs> no, I had an audition for Britain's Got Talent when I was 14. Before? Sing it. <laughs> Oh, Milkshake. Yeah, but Holly's actually a really good singer. I'm not, I'm not, I'm yes, not. But I did go for an audition when I was milkshake. younger. Is it on the internet? No, it's uh, not. I didn't get it that far. Holly's singing on the internet, though, and she's so good. Play a clip of it, but I'm on this interview. Yeah. <laughs> so embarrassing. Oh my god, so what happened? Did you see something out? No, I didn't get that far. <laughs> I literally went for one audition and was never seen again. <laughs> and luckily, Jordy Shaw came along. Please go on the X Factor. Oh, the nah. They just get me on for, like, to take, take the mic out of it. So, nah, You'd be a lot better no, than that, you? It's quite hard, isn't right. it, though, for like reality stars to jump into the music industry? Because mm -hmm. yeah. they don't take you seriously. Well, Megan McKenna tried to do it, didn't she, from Tower? And she's tried amazing. She's tried to do everything. Has she, has she not succeeded <laughs> at it, though? She's, she's tried she's, everything. She's, she's I mean, even I ended up on Clubland. <laughs> She'll probably grow up a musician next. Kind of <laughs> now I have to ask you guys about love lives. Anything going on? No, yeah. nothing. I'm just going to Raj. <laughs> As usual. Because <laughs> last time you kind of had a Single girlfriend, you kind of didn't have a girlfriend. No, I didn't like it. Like, literally, as soon as like, the scenes with someone, it's like, oh, he's got a girlfriend. Like, you know, I didn't see that. Like, like they just like leaves alone. Like, I'm just with a girl. No, I won't pass someone now, I'm engaged to them. <laughs> can't no, do but you're saying that, the, that this girl kind of got it. No, 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 like, she's not that, like, but I can't commit to a relationship because it's not fair. Like, I'm never home. Like, why would I want to be with someone when, why would I want to be in a relationship when I'm only going to see her, like, one, once every two weeks? Like if I want a relationship, I want to see her every day. Perfect I'm a man relationship, isn't it? Mm. Not, well, see, not seeing not her much. <laughs> what about you girls? Nah, on Tinder, just, happen? Nah, Bumble? Nah, just, it's nothing. all so busy, you can't Super really, like you don't really have... <laughs> Super. It's <laughs> <laughs> funny. Isn't it? you just swipe me. <laughs> what about you two? No. <laughs> the one that got away. <laughs> Is that what she's called? No, nah, she's just scared. <laughs> <laughs> so what, are you just going to leave it in a couple of years and then maybe just take the plan with it? Just, we're just all so busy at the minute and I think, you know, yeah. like Scott says, like you, if you want to be in a relationship, you've kind of got to be committed to it and at the minute none of us really have the time or the energy for that. Because let's, let's be honest, like, you get in a relationship in the media, like in the public eye, like it just, it just goes and realistically, who wants to be yeah, with anyone who's on Jordy Shaw at the minute? <laughs> so yeah. ideally, you get someone that wasn't known to anyone, anywhere. Well, but even even right. the word Jordy Shaw just scares people off. Yeah. So even if you were trying to get someone, like it's kind of just a no go. Isn't yeah. It? Like Jordy Shaw's like, oh no, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> and has your love life improved since Big Bro? Since people know you, kind of more people know you. It's a love thing. <laughs> Sorry, improved. Your love. I was, I was good. What does that word mean? <laughs> People have seen it. <laughs> no, I am like I've just been working to be honest, like focusing on work. You know what I mean? Like, and, like I come like that's first for me. So I want to like set myself up for the rest of my life, don't I? Like loving that, like you know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna be like. I don't want it to be like someone like, oh, you can't go on tonight, you can't do this and that. Don't go away. Don't do that pain. I don't think they would girl. succeed in any no. way, wouldn't they not? You would not be told what to do. No. <laughs> I love the way that most men just think you're such a legend, the way that you told that story on Big Bro about wiping your uh, bottom mm. whilst you How were uh, at it. It was probably wicked. <laughs> People, <laughs> People actually... Was, even knew it. People, no, she knows like, now. What type of girl though that would just she obviously knew what had happened with, because Listen, of Scott of Geordie Shaw. She kind of just went through it like I get away with everything. Like I would have said, like if you, <laughs> you <laughs> yourself. <laughs> it's kind of obvious, like the room's like ninety degrees. Like, <laughs> People have actually kind of cut that up and they're using that mm -hmm. as bible now. You are, you're setting the trend, which is it's horrible, Sorry. absolutely <laughs> horrible. <laughs> It was, it was actually hilarious. Everyone's got them type of stories, but his probably is the worst. I've got loads of stories like that.